Welcome to a new video and this is a pretty spontaneous video but nevertheless today on my Mate Pad Pro and my Mate 30 Pro Harmony OS arrived so I want to give you a short little overview of the operating system and the user interface changes so let's get started. <laughs> So what I can tell you right now already is that Harmony OS, the upgrade process, worked pretty much the same as any normal over-the-air update that you do on your uh, Emotion UI uh, from 10, 10.1 to 11, for example. The only difference is that yeah, you're downloading roughly five gigabytes of uh, data instead of only like a few hundred megabytes or under one gigabyte. So. It was an interesting experience, but it worked nevertheless without any issues. So the system booted up, it was still showing powered by Android. Then the upgrade process was running, it was uh, showing Harmony OS. And when it rebooted, it was only showing the Huawei logo without the powered by Android. And then it was showing the new Harmony OS uh, boot logo, boot screen. I had the um, noise turned off for my tablet, so it didn't make any like startup sound or something like this. And then it booted up normally. And it asked me then with this uh, first installation wizard if I want to use a new um, home launcher. I said yes. And it was also telling me, okay, if you are using this, then it will um, remove or it will yeah, destroy your configuration that you had previously. So it's not like taking over the configuration of where every app icon will sit uh, from the previous installation. But every application was still there. All the Android applications I've installed are still there and everything is running so far fine. So I want to show you right now how it looks like on the operating system itself. So let's go to the new launcher and to the new Harmony OS on my MatePad Pro. What we see here right now is the new Harmony OS desktop and we see some or home screen or launcher or however you want to call it. We see some changes. First of all, you can see here this little Celia suggestions, which is simply as far as I understand an option where it suggests your applications that it, the system, Celia, the voice assistant or assistant things that I will use uh, next. So for example, Sync is installed here, which is a Reddit client that is especially optimized for tablets and works pretty nicely here on the uh, MatePad. You can see the animations are super fluid and you can see even like the thumbnail is like you can see like it's getting smaller. It's super fluid. It's more fluid than Emotion UI 11. Definitely you can feel the more smooth UI. We have some new widgets, just like for example, the time widgets, as you can see here, has now the uh, weather as well, but it's not underneath the time anymore. It can be like horizontally laid out here, tablet optimized, and you get not only the day, uh, the, the, the today's weather, but also the forecast for the next three days as well. And you can tap on this to go to the weather application. And as well, the weather application is now, um, yeah, optimized for tablets. As you can see, it's showing on the left a big number of the current weather and temperature. And it shows me all the other th information that I might need for the next days here on the right. So this is pretty interesting. What you also see is like in comparison to Emotion UI um, 11, they changed the font a slightly bit. And also some icons have been changed. For example, the option icon is now not a three dots menu, menu but a four dots menu because yeah, four is bigger than three. Anyway, it's like this uh, four dots uh, in, yeah, in a square shape. And if I click on this, I get like the context menu where I have the option to set up things. And yeah, again, animation very fluid. All the applications that I had installed before, like KD Connect, which is an Android application, 9GAG, TV program, uh, even YouTube Vans that I installed still there work fine without any issues. If I go to YouTube Vans, you can see it is loading up a nice video here. And uh, yeah, I can also go out of this. You can see animations work pretty nice. What you see uh, for certain applications, mostly native applications, just like Notepad or Calendar, there are some uh, there's some little line underneath them, which is an indicator that there's a widget hiding for it that supports the new Harmony OS widget um, library. And what it 
allows you to do is swipe on the icon to open up the widget. And in this case, I could pin the widget to this uh, desktop. So it will be like, like this CS suggestion widget. Another thing that I can do is like if I use certain uh, applications uh, that I have put in the folder, like for example, the video editors folder, I can long press and say enlarge. And then I get an enlarged version where I have not the names of the icons, but the icons itself uh, in a smaller view. And I can directly launch if I want to like uh, launch quick, I can directly launch it from there, which is pretty, pretty nice. Of course, I can also say shrink it again. And then I have the option, of course, to go and put it, uh, put it back here. So these are the optimizations in terms of widgets. You can, of course, it's, it kind of reminds me a little bit of iOS, I have to say, those, those uh, widgets that can be here in a square and uh, a little bit of BlackBerry as well that had also swipe up features for certain, um, to show certain widgets. But this is more fluid and seems more integrated in the operating system as uh, well. When it comes to Android applications, like I said, Android applications run without any problems. Um, 9 gig, for example, can run here uh, without any issues. Okay, it is now not in portrait mode, it's going into uh, it's going into portrait mode instead of landscape mode. Uh, but all the applications work fine. Animations work fine and fluid without any big issues. And uh, I did not notice any applications not working. I even heard people that had Google services installed still can use the Google services on their device because what it does is not replacing the AOSP or the Android part of your system. It is only adding the Harmony OS part. So the Android part of your system is untouched and uh, all the APK files that you want to install via Petal Search or something like this. Where do I have my uh, app stores? I have Aurora store here, for example, to um, access Google Play Store, run without any issues. I can install um, applications here from the Google Play Store, for example, no issue at all if I want to. And I can even update uh, APK files without any issue. It takes a while to load them. And if I want to update uh, 9 gig here, um, hopefully this is a bit quick. Uh, it will download then and it's an APK file of course it will allow you to install the APK file as well as uh, HAP files which are the new file format which is the new file format for, for Harmony OS or it's one part of the new file format of Harmony OS that ultimately uh, will end up in the dot uh, app file I think the same file that file system that, that Apple uses to go in here I think it tries to download again. It's like a stupid bug in Aurora store currently uh, that in the previous window, the upload uh, update function is not working uh, like I want, but here it will work and it will yeah prompt you for installing. As you can see, it is the same, um, uh, probably the same thing that you have here as in the normal Emotion UI 11. AppGuard enabled to ensure your security recommend you uh, to install apps from App Gallery when possible. If you still want to install this app, you can disable AppGuard in uh, settings, system updates and AppGuard. So this is uh, a new thing, which is like an uh, yeah, application guard, which only allows you to install application applications that are uh, safe or come from the store. And yeah, this is maybe the only big change that I noticed so far. You can disable it and then it works like it should work before. The other thing that you will see is if I swipe to the left that you get the same um, Today page, uh, Huawei Today I think it's called, um, page that you had before. You get like the option to go to your profile. You see uh, the moments, uh, like uh, it's raining currently. Uh, events, uh, all the other things you can see here, news and the stock market, for example, or sports events and some news going on here as well. So this is basically the same that you saw or see already on Emotion UI 11. This didn't change. What changed is the multitasking overview, which looks like this right now, which makes absolutely more sense for a tablet because you're using just simply more space that you have here on your tablet, especially the bigger tablets like the new MatePad Pro, which is like 12 inch uh, big in size. And what I noticed is I have much more applications open and running at the same time as you can see here. 
so it doesn't close applications so quickly as it did before under Emotion UI 11. And you can see here all the applications stay longer in memory, which is also a pretty nice uh, side effect of this. What we can also see is like um, on some applications, not all of the applications, they have a new logo on the top uh, right corner. And this is uh, just an option to like if I go in here and I'm uh, in, for example, the tips app, if I click on this, it will open up in a smaller window, which is pretty good for multitasking. Because of course I have the option to resize the window if I like to. This is a feature that we had already in Emotion UI 11, but here I think it is more refined and I can minimize it, have it here running, can open up my files application, can run this and open this up. I can go in here in my files and just uh, drag and drop a file uh, to here if I want to. And it would, if it's a browser or other application that allows uh, to use this, I could work as well. And of course I have the option to drag it around and also put it sideways here. And now I have uh, like two applications running uh, at the same time. I still have the option to open up here some other applications. And as you can see here, it is also showing me running applications like the tips application that I have running here. And uh, if I want to have like a, a calculator, I can click on this and I have calculator here as well I can minimize it and yeah this is working pretty nicely also of course as it is a tablet with a keyboard that i have attached if i go into one application i want to switch to the other application i can use alt tab and it has this nice uh, can i use alt tab has this nice animation where it goes in from one application to another which is pretty nice and if i press and hold alt tab i can go to the navigation switcher here if i press alt and let go of tab which is also pretty nice as you can see here. So this is also possible with the new uh, Harmony OS. And uh, like I said, many under the hood changes have been made, but also some changes that I can show you right now, like for example, the new control center. If I swipe from the uh, top right corner down, I get all my new uh, controls, control panel. Looks a lot like iOS, I would say. So I have like a panel here for playing application, uh, that means everything that plays stuff and is um, yeah, connected to this, like the music player or Huawei video will appear here. I have my Wi-Fi here. I can, without um, going to my settings, I can just press here on the side and then connect to my other Wi-Fi if I want to. Or the same goes for my Bluetooth devices. I can connect to other Bluetooth devices if I want to. I have my quick toggles here. I have the brightness control. I can swipe down to see uh, more quick uh, options that I have here. I can, can of course still edit this by going in here, say edit switches or, or hide super devices or edit devices because I have of course also here, oops, here the super devices so I can uh, touch and search for nearby devices. I have my Mate uh, 30 Pro. I think this is not working yet. My Mate 30 Pro has uh, support uh, for Ah, my Mate 30 Pro shows my uh, MatePad Pro now, but uh, I don't see my Mate 30 Pro here in the super devices. But what I can do is maybe let's do this here. And I connect my Mate 30 Pro now here. And you can see in the multi collaboration my Mate 30 Pro also running Harmony OS. And if I swipe down from here, you can see here I have my uh, super device Huawei MatePad Pro and if I can tap on this it uh, yeah it will go away now because it doesn't make any sense to have it like this but I could do here again press on connecting to Huawei MatePad Pro and what it does is starting the multi collaboration window here in this case because it does make sense of course I can go here in here options and can do the same as Huawei did in their presentation can also say okay I want to detach it and then it's like detached completely and I can also attach it again here on my Mate 30 Pro and then it is attaching again so this is working fine what what I didn't try out yet is what happens if I go to my camera application and if I go to switch cameras oh you can see me but the multi camera feature I think is not working yet at least maybe this will come with an update later on. 
but this is working fine as you can see here multi calibration window and this is how you can use the uh, control panel to connect to uh, super devices what Huawei showed I'm not sure why I cannot connect my tablet to my phone probably because there's no functionality yet for this kind of scenario but the other way around connecting the phone to the tablet is working um, it would be nice if I could do this here from my tablet uh, as well if I want to connect my phone but yeah this is uh, an option uh, otherwise on if I want to notifications on my left I have of course notifications here you can see a screen recording right now I have um, do not disturb mode on I've got a connect running in the background so Android applications run without any issues I have a system notification that's telling me that uh, the screen recording is now accessing my, my microphone. I can view the uh, app info. I have the Aurora store downloading stuff downloaded here and uh, failed downloading the uh, Adobe something. And uh, some uh, new comment of uh, in Reddit in the sync client, which is the Reddit client. Then uh, my um, uh, microphone that I have attached via USB Type-C dongle, which is not a Huawei one and uh, some email that arrived here um, so these are the options that i can show you right now there's a lot more underneath the hood of harman us like the super devices like collaboration feature that is already built under the hood but all the devices needed to needs to need to be updated to uh, see a little bit more here and there uh, what has has been done is like some optimization for the tablet especially because the new matepad comes out so if you go to Huawei store for example you can see that the tabs are now aligned on the left side here uh, not down at the bottom and some other applications use the same kind of layout for the tablet so you have the various different tabs you can switch to uh, you have them here now on the left instead of um, at the bottom like on a smartphone Anyway, Android applications are running as I showed you already, so no issues at all. Even Play Store would run on applications that have like Play Store installed or GSM installed because Huawei with Harmony OS is shipping their uh, own AOSP comp or Android comp compatibility layer, which is basically AOSP, lots of AOSP parts still, but has also under the hood their own Harmony OS uh, stuff. You can of in China already there are some apps, I think five or ten ish like apps officially released as HAP files uh, that um, are exclusive services because Harmony OS, of course, launched in China first, uh, which are native applications to Harmony OS that don't use so much Android code. But uh, currently it looks like that even those are running through the Android uh, runtime through the AOSP part of Harmony OS uh, in here. Um, but this is all speculation on my side so far or like things that I put together from documentations and um, yeah, reviewers and uh, people who tested this out. So you can run HAP files on Harmony OS. So it is working somehow, uh, but it's running through the uh, ART uh, Android compiler currently and not the Harmony OS uh, own compiler as far as I can tell. Um, when it comes to search, the AI search is still there, as you can see here. We can still search here. It has a new icon to, to go to settings and so on. We can uh, configure this. And this is, I think, also a new tablet UI element. And when I go into settings, you can see that the settings changed a little bit. The design changed. The font has changed. You can see now it's showing Harmony OS here. It's showing uh, that it's running on the MatePad Pro. And it's version uh, 200115 of Harmony OS with GPU Turbo. And this all is running currently, the whole UI is running in an optimized way, but it's running on this uh, AOSP Android uh, layer. This is why ha Harmony OS, or this is why some say Harmony OS is just a clone or fork of, fork of Android. Uh, in this case, yeah, it is running on a fork of Android, but we have also HMS Core here, where we have uh, various different options to set up. Uh, like the COVID-9 contact shield. Uh, we don't have supported apps for this right now. We have the option to set up ads, like disable personalized ads. Uh, don't want personalized ads, so I can disable this here. I can auto update HMS core. I have system update here and here I have the same options that I had uh, previously. Um, I can uh, yeah, set up users and accounts. All my accounts are still here, work fine. You can see Vanced Micro G is working. So YouTube Vanced, for example, is working. Uh, fine, my Telegram account is working. Uh, MeTime is uh, added and integrated into the system uh, nicely. 
so all my accounts are working i didn't see so many new features here i have to say uh, keep in mind this is a chinese version so huawei assistant for example ai voice is um, uh, if i go in here the voice wake up you can see say uh, some chinese word because it's using the chinese uh, ai voice instead of uh, hey celia then we have some privacy features uh, we have a privacy space, uh, everything that we had on uh, Emotion UI 11 as well. So new animations here for storage, for example. So they cleaned this up a little bit. You can see that we have this rounded corners and white background on a gray. And if I go, can I go to the dark mode? Do I have the dark mode in here? Uh, dark mode, you can also see how it will look like in dark mode. Uh, you can see also this grayish on black background. I think it's pretty nice. It looks in pretty nice in dark mode and in uh, the daylight mode. And uh, yeah, pretty nicely done by Huawei. You have this nice little animation. And uh, where was I? I wanted to go to battery. Battery still looks like this. Nothing much changed here, I think. And uh, yeah, what do we have? Uh, something else that is new. Don't think there's something new. Ah, the, the loading animation you saw is, I think, new. I think there were some applications already using this new loading animation, also on Emotion UI 11. I think the app gallery used this already. We have new sliders here. You can see for notification the sliders here, uh, or in general, the sliders look a bit different than they looked before. Uh, here you can see it's also for the brightness one. Uh, the text style, the new uh, font. Uh, is available uh, themes uh, and we have Harmony OS style right now with the Aquamarine. We can also change to all the other styles that were uh, there before and we have some featured themes as well in the th theme category. You can see, see the new style and design. We have a new um, font that looks a lot clearer I think, especially on the tablet I noticed that. On the, on the phone I have to say maybe I'm did not use the phone enough to, to tell you this but it is a lot clearer uh, to read and uh, looks a bit sharper the text actually for some reason then the thing uh, that we have new is the super device option where i can see like i have two huawei uh, harmony s devices like the uh, mate 30 pro is also uh, here and uh, i have already the mate uh, pad pro running here i have more settings like suggest devices uh, multi-device file support so you can see it is a little bit limited in this early version that I have here running. Uh, everything else looks the same, behaves the same as before, but it's more fluid. Uh, and this is what is my first impression. It's a lot more fluid when, when opening apps. The apps in general, I think the I.O. Uh, supports of copying files and folders is a bit quicker, noticeably quicker. Then on uh, Emotion UI 11, when it comes to loading uh, times of applications, I didn't notice so much, especially games or something. I think it is still using full potential of the Kirin processor, in my case, the Kirin 990 processor, without much issue. Uh, loading times of web pages or internet stuff, like loading times of wallpapers here, for example, when I load some wallpapers here, you can see, uh, yeah, it's working fine. Animations work fine. Uh, without any issues and stutter. Uh, what I had sometimes uh, Emotion UI 11 are lags when going to multi-view or something like this. Here I don't have this, so they have uh, optimized the rendering engine here uh, definitely. So overall I'm impressed by the new um, Harmony OS because of the speed that changed. So it feels like I have a new tablet <laughs> really to be honest because the speed is definitely uh, changed and uh, I.O. as soon as you do I.O. like when I cut this video for example and I do this in, in KineMaster or PowerDirector and I'm rendering this out I notice the speed difference in, in, in uh, terms of rendering time. It is, I don't have a comparison uh, video but uh, or project that I can do but uh, yeah this is what I noticed and as well you can see here the folders that don't have like the outline that in the old Emotion UI 11 that you had, which is just full screen folder. Um, maybe you can make it like, yeah, use the space a little bit more, not like this only, but maybe the whole when they do a full screen anyway for this. Anyway, um, 
This is my first impressions and hands-on with Farman US on my MatePad Pro. If you have some questions, something that I test, have to test out, try out, definitely, then I can uh, inform you uh, what do I have here. What we can do, I can show you to just to prove my point. You can install Android applications. We have here we go, we have maps. But what I can do is I can go to the uh, not social media, but to the app stores. I can go to the Aurora store. I maybe have to go to settings first and uh, disable the app guard. Uh, app guard disable, disable. And I have to enter the super secret pin that I have. Now AppGuard is not interfering with me and I go to Aurora store, search for apps and we search for the Google uh, Maps app and just install it because we know that this one is working fine on uh, Emotion UI 11 and it should work fine on Harmony OS as well. So let's download it, it takes a while, not the fastest internet, I could switch to another internet if I want a fast internet but this one is I think working nicely. So some people are asking, are those applications working uh, that rely on Android or how about Google applications? We don't have Google mobile services on my device in particular, but if you have them, they should work the same as before uh, and threat detected, uh, find similar apps, uh, blah, blah, blah. Install anyway, install anyway, and it will install it. And yeah, installing, installing, installing. Now we can click here, open, and you can see here, sign in will not work. Uh, the add account option is coming from, I think the micro G services. So in general, if you have micro G installed, it would like try to do stuff, but it's not working. But this, as you can see here, is working nicely. And uh, I can go to, uh, I can go to Cologne here, Cologne, Cologne. Germany and you can see Cologne Cathedral here and it's working nicely without any issues. Uh, everything here, church, uh, for example, this church, I can take a look at the pictures here, um, taken probably with a smartphone. And you can see this is working without any issues. So I can install Google Apps, it's working fine here. And I can also drag this icon. I have all the possibilities here. You can see share, work or home, navigation stuff as working directly and I can drag this here into my maps and yeah it's working fine as you can see so no issues on that front so this is now really everything for this uh, little overview video of Harmony OS first impressions of Harmony OS so far if you have some questions write them down in the comment section stuff I should try out on Harmony OS 2.0 and uh, yeah, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. You can leave a like, you can uh, subscribe and uh, share videos, of course, and tell others uh, to subscribe as well. And uh, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.